Hey what's up YouTube, it's DK here and I'm back again with a brand new video. Actually this is more of like a rant, part 2 from my first video that I made last year when Street Fighter V first came out called Why You Shouldn't Use Your Fight Money. Currently as I'm recording this, this is actually Season 2 of Street Fighter V and with Season 2 comes new characters. We already have Akuma and today Colleen just dropped and that's exactly the reason why I'm making this video today. I'm here to talk about future characters in Season 2 and potentially Season 3. If you haven't seen my previous video, I highly recommend that you check it out. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below and I might even have like a, a link in, in the video as well. In that video, I highlight reasons as to why you shouldn't spend your fight money on cosmetic items. And I show you that I made over 500,000 fight money. And it wasn't that hard to attain, but it's what I spent it on, which I was really annoyed about. See, because at the time, the shop was actually locked. It wasn't even open. So you were sitting there on a big wad of cash, and you know you were just waiting for that shop to open to go and buy all of the pretty things that other people couldn't get. I know that was the first thing that I did. I bought the costumes that I thought looked sick, especially the story costumes, like Cammy's. Like, please, that, that costume looks real sick. And it's not like I regret buying it, it's just that I don't even play the character, so I don't even get to see it. The only time I get to see it is when someone else is using it, but why would I need to spend my cash to see someone else use it, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Just buy the things that you know you will use. Like, I, I know for a fact there's like, I don't know, six costumes that I bought. I only ever use one, and that's pretty much during rank play. And it's not like I risk my LP. I mean, not that I have much anyways. I'm only up to 3,000. So, you know, it's nothing to brag about. But, you know, I'm not going to risk losing those points using characters I don't know how to use just because of the costume. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, basically, that video just highlights that I end up spending so much money, 100,000 fight money, in fact. I think maybe even more on just cosmetic items when I could have bought a character. I could have just waited to buy a character, even if it wasn't even season one. And that's the point I'm trying to make right now. If you sat there and you made 600,000 fight money and bought all six season one characters, right? What are you gonna spend on season two? You need to spend another 600,000 fight money just to get the characters for free. So the point I'm trying to make is that for season two of Street Fighter V, that you, we don't even know what the characters are yet. Like we've seen the silhouettes and stuff like that, but we don't have concrete information about who the characters are and why they should take my money now as opposed to later you know what i'm saying like i get the secrecy behind hiding the characters behind silhouettes and then people have to guess and there's like a whole hype train behind it and then when they get revealed like the hype is massive right and just as i stated in my previous video if i did have 600,000 fight money and if i bought all six dlc characters for season one there's no way I'm going to have enough to buy the Season 2 characters. And this is a clear example. So as of today, when Colleen dropped, I had a hundred, maybe just over a hundred thousand fight money, right? I bought Colleen, which means I had pretty much next to nothing left. So after I've done her trials, her character story mode, easy survival and normal survival, which to be fair, I'm thinking about the casuals right now. like. Hardcore purists of fighting games will probably try and get that hard and extreme done, but most people will only do easy and normal because they know they can do it, right? So, after all that, after doing those four things, I've only gained 30,000 fight money. What? So let's do the math real quick here. So there's six DLC characters, right? And you've spent 600,000 on them. If you do all of those four things, with each character that's 30,000 times by six, you're only making 180,000 back. And you have to take into account that you can't regain any of that fight money once you get it the first time. If it's got a tick next to it, if it's got that ribbon thing next to it, that's it, you can't get it again. But who really knew that there was a season two of Street Fighter V with six more characters? That's 1.2 million fight money that you need if you're gonna get these characters for free. And again, it's the reason why I'm making this video right now, is that if you have the cash there, if you have the money, please save it. Save it, whatever you do, because there might be a character, you know, you might think Colleen is awesome and sick and you want to play that character, which is fine, 
But for the people that are just like, meh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this character, don't buy it! Wait until another character comes out. You've still got, what, there's two characters out now, there's four to go, you might as well just wait until the rest are out. I know it's hard to, to hold all that fight money. It's really easy to succumb to temptation, like I've done. And, you know, I bought Colleen because I thought she was a sick character. But now I miss out on playing Urien, you know? Urien looks really sick, and I said in Season 1 that I wanted to play that character. I can't even play. The only reason why I chose Colleen is because she's the latest character out, and that's, you know, I'm doing such a bad thing right now. Like, I it, learn from my mistake. Do not follow my footsteps at all, please. I'm just saying, like, just make sure that you hold your cash until you you make that firm decision on what character you want to buy. If you want to play this game for free and you want to play characters that you know that you that you'll play, just just go and research, man. Like just just go and research, watch pro players play the character because they know the best ways to playing every character. And if 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 you think it suits your style, then by all means go ahead and buy it. But don't just buy a character going out on a limb, you know, just, just, just don't do it, research first, spend your fight money wisely, 1.2 million fight money to buy 12 characters, dude, like, that's such a grind and a half, I mean, sure it's doable if you keep playing online and stuff like that, but, man, to the casual player, you're not going to be playing that long online, you're only going to be playing a handful of matches, you know what I'm saying, and I'm pretty sure Capcom was aware of this, that no one's going to grind 1.2 mil, and if they're going to play a complete game, they have to buy the characters. They have to buy the season pass. So, the message of this video is spend your fight money wisely. Don't fall into the trap. Hold your cash. Wait until you see the other characters, because by all means, Sagat might be coming. And I'm not going to have any cash to buy him. And that makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Anyways guys, I'm going to end this video right here. If you did indeed enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and YouTube. I'm going to catch you guys later. Spend your fight money wisely. Peace.